guys, it's Kelly and I'm back with another video. This is finally the follow-up video to the Get Grounded one I did. Um, God, I think it was like three weeks ago now. Um, but anywho, so this is the Get Grounded set. Basically the whole premise is um, they're all little floors or um, like grasses, things like that to ground your images. And I'm going to be using the... Um, the one that I just showed you very quickly because that's part. Remember I told you I filmed all four of them at the same time. So anyway, this is the castle time set and then um, the sentiments. So all of that will be linked below. If you missed the first uh, video with the rest of the other sets, I will link that below as well if you're watching on YouTube. So here I'm just kind of getting my scene set up. I've got my little knight, I've got my little dragon castle in the background, and my little moon. Now, my little knight is also going to have um, his little horse, but that's going to be kind of stamped behind him, so I'm going to mask that. Uh, anytime that you're doing a one-layer card and um, you're masking something, you want to stamp whatever you want in the front first. So whatever you want to see the most of. I want to see the entire knight's body, so I'm stamping him first, and then I'm going to stamp his the little horse behind him. I am stamping with, by the way, sorry for not showing you, because again, I was <laughs> filming all of them at the same time, um, with uh, Gina K Amalgam ink because that's Copic Safe, and this whole card is going to be um, Copic markers. So here I'm masking my little knight. I'm only um, masking just the one side of him because that's the only part of it that I need to be masked just so the little horse tucks behind him. Um, and then I'm gonna take the mask off. So you'll see, I'm gonna stamp the little horsey. My dog is huffing um, out <laughs> like underneath the door because she's like, what are you, what are you doing in there without me? Um, where I can't see you and just be all up in your business. Um, so anyway, um, so I took the mask off and then I realized I needed to put the mask back on to stamp the ground for this one. Um, and I wanted it to kind of be like them on this road on top of the hill with like the castle in the background uh, was the way that I envisioned it. So I'm um, just going to stamp that down and then once that's done, we're just going to get right into the Copa coloring. It's going to look a little bit silly and it is going to be um, different than the way that I normally show you things because usually I will show you the markers that I'm using before I use them but because this was part of a whole big long I thought was going to be one video I've already actually showed these in the other video so I'm just going to tell you what what the colors are for the grass I used a YG 01 03 17 and 67 for the brown part of it, I used an E30, 33, 35, and 37. So here I'm just doing um, what I call like mapping. So I'm just mapping out my scene um, with my lightest colors. The reason I use my lightest colors is because they're the easiest to cover up if I make a mistake. Um, also, because I was really just in the zone, there's going to be part of the time where that bottom left-hand corner is going to be off of, um, like, out of view, and I apologize for that. Typically, I try to pay better attention, but this was the fourth card that I did, um, and I was just really kind of in the zone of making the little scene. So I'm going to fill all of this grass area in so I can see what I'm working with. I wanted it to be, obviously the moon is stamped in the background, I wanted it to be a night scene. Um, so it's going to look a little bit funny because when things are what we call backlit, so the sun, the sun, Kelly, you just called it a moon and a night scene and now we're on to the sun. I've like just fast forwarded the whole day. Anyway, the moon is in the background and so it is going to have the majority of the light behind them which means they are going to be darker and so is the landscape. But what it will have is highlights on the edges where the light would be showing from behind them. So it's going to look a little bit weird, especially until we put the night sky in as things get progressively darker. Um, it's just gonna look a little bit strange. but. Trust me, we have trust exercises on this channel um, because at the end of it, it will all make sense. 
this is something that's a super easy technique to do and looks really kind of like you know what you're doing or looks kind of you know what I mean kind of um I guess impressive um if you just understand the way that the light works. So here, like that back part of the grass is the closest to the moon, but the grass on the right hand side, the light is going to be blocked by the castle. Because you have to, our light source is in the top left hand side, which means all of our highlights will be on the left hand side, um, unless it is like the way the rays come out. So if you use your moon as a center point and then draw out from there, like radial out from there, there's going to be some things like the little dragon horns that the light hits it a different way. So you'll see when we get there, um, like where to put the highlights. Um, but again, the, the landscape and everything is just going to get progressively darker. It's just one of the things where there isn't a ton of shading, this particular type of technique. There isn't a ton of shading because most of it is dark. The minimal shading that you will put in um, is going to be, like I said, kind of the most like ooh la la because um, I was just putting it in the correct spot. So once I have, I'm all the way out to my darkest color, then I'm going to go back in and start blending in that edge at the top so it isn't so harsh. Um, but there is going to be a very quick um, change from the, the dark color to the light color because those edges, like I said, will um, catch more light. So the top of this hill will catch more light than the bottom of it or than the grass that is behind it. So here's that area I was telling you about where I'm like working off the page, sorry. Um, but then I'm gonna take that YG03 and blend that up into the YG01 and it's gonna look almost like it's glowing, which is how we want it to look because the way that the moonlight is hitting it. Again, this won't really come together until we put the night sky in, then it'll all kind of make a little bit more sense and then same thing with the um, the muddy road or like the dirt path kind of thing. So um, one of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about, first of all, this Get Grounded set, I waited so long because I was waiting for it to be back in stock. Um, it was pretty much sold out everywhere, which is super awesome because Inkblot Shop, which is the creator of these stamps, is also awesome and I'm I'm happy to support Tiffany and also I just think it's a really good stamp set. Um, so if you were one of the people who was waiting for it to be back in stock, it is in fact and it will be linked below. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about with this video is um, if you have been following my channel, you know that I, uh, I work for a police department and one of the side benefits of being part of that police department is that we run a youth group. Youth, The youth group is kind of like the center of um, a, a unit, which is police and citizens together. And, um, oh, we're going to go back to the card. So here, this is my lightest blue color. It's going to be lightest closest to my light source. So it's going to get progressively darker as I move out from there. This is the B90 family. So I'm using B93, 95, 97, and 99. Um, it's kind of going to look a little bit like, like crazy, kind of like garbagey until I get all my colors blended. Um, but just be, just be patient, especially if you're, you know, at home. Um, coloring along or you're at home watching this and, and, and doing another kind of night scene, um, just hang in there until the colors get blended because it is going to look a little bit uh, crazy until that happens. So uh, the further away it is from the moon, the darker it's going to be. That's why my, my darkest color is all the way over here on the, um, the right hand side and I'm just outlining that castle to make it easier for me to fill in. And then once that's all filled in, I'm going to flick back into the previous color and then continue that way back into my lightest color so that it's all kind of smooth. There are some um, 
there's a technique we're going to do later that's kind of going to help distract from maybe some uneven lines or things like that. So don't sweat it too much. Um, but anywho, so PACT. Um, PACT does several different things outside of youth group. We also do uh, coffee with a cap um, with, for elderly people, um, explain to them some scams, provide a little bit of companionship because um, our society as a whole just seems to forget about um, elderly people and what a wonderful resource they are for wisdom and information and um, stories because I mean the lives that they have led um, are totally different in a totally different time than you know what we're we're currently living in I think they're fascinating to listen to um, and it makes me really just sad in general how our society treats uh, our um, older population but anyway um, so coloring the castle you can see I left that hard white edge um, and then I'm going to blend that back out with some of the lighter colors the areas that would be sticking out like the towers um, and the top of the um, roof at the centerpiece those are the areas that I left uh, highlights on so Pact does these things, and we also, you know, the guys go to um, elementary schools and, you know, read books to little ones. They do things like touch a truck, um, where they bring out the cruisers and um, the SUVs, let the kids play around and them touch them, you know, teach them not to be afraid of police officers, that, you know, they're approachable and, and to go to them um, if they need help. And so if you, please, if you know someone, um, or if you have in the past, and, and I think that um, parents don't think about the repercussions of it, but there will be people who will say to their children, um, you know, if you're bad, this policeman's going to take you to jail. Please don't teach your children that. We don't want children to be afraid of police officers. We want children to know that if, if they find themselves lost or in a situation or, or that they need help, that a police officer is a safe option. Um, for them to go to and get some help. So coloring my little dragon, the highlight is going to be on the left hand side because that is where the moon is shining from. So the majority of his right hand side is going to be dark. However, his tail is sticking out further than his body. So that area will have a highlight on it as well um, because it's going to be sticking out further and catching light of its own. So anyway, in the beginning, we were grant funded um, through the state of Ohio. And then they decided that um, community policing wasn't something that they were interested in offering anymore. So through no fault of our own, we lost the grant. And the, not, not that they gave it to somebody else, they just disappeared it and just went away. So for the last, after talking to the kids and looking at it in a department, we decided it was still a worthwhile investment. It was something that we still wanted to continue doing. And so we began doing some fundraising. Um, the kids washed cards. We had a, a huge fundraiser Halloween party um, and just put in a ton of work to try to keep this thing afloat while still applying for other grants. Um, so one of the ones that we have applied to is the, the State Farm Neighborhood Assistance Grant. And this is pretty much a popularity contest. That's, I mean, that's what it comes down to. So they only took 2,000 applications. Um, we never thought that there would even be a chance that we would make the top 200, which is what you need to be voted on. But thank you, Jesus. Christmas miracle. We've made the top 200. And so the voting for it is open for the next nine days. That's it. You get nine days and you have to be within the top 40 to get any of the um, grant money. So I am shamelessly, just with no issue whatsoever, hitting up my, my YouTube followers. You have to be a U.S. citizen to vote, um, and I will include the link below on YouTube. Um, but if you could please, please, please take two minutes of your day and vote for um, our group to get these children some money. Um, so that we can continue to do a uh, youth group, that would be amazing. And I would be so very grateful. Um, you have 10 votes. You can cast all 10 of them at one time. Um, and then you can vote one time per day. So you get 10 votes 
uh, every day for the next nine days. I think it's over on August 20, I think it's the 23rd that they stopped taking boats. Um, so I would just genuinely appreciate your help if you um, if you could support our our youth group and my kids um, because they need it. We I mean we're we are making do. That is certainly true, and I I'm I'm grateful for the money and the donations and and all of those things that have come in um, to help us keep the unit afloat. Um, but to actually have um, funds to, you know, pull on and not have to, you know, count every single penny and decide whether or not we can do this with them or that with them because it has to be one or the other. Um, that would be fantastic. So anywho, that's my, my, sh that's my shameless plug for, for my youth group. Um, back to the card. So you can see that, um, the, his highlight, the night's highlight is a little bit different because he's standing directly in front of the moon. Um, so his highlights are behind him, but all of his center, front center, is dark. For the horse, it's going to be just about the same thing. Um, his hair is going to have the highlight and the top of his ear, and then his snout that, is it, it's a snout on a horse, right? Muzzle? Snout? Somebody, tell me what the answer to that is, because I don't know. Um, anyway, it sticks out past his mane so that part will have um, the highlight on it as well so now all the coloring is done I'm gonna go back in and just reinforce that highlight with a white gel pen and then any of the areas like the little stone pillars that stick up that are too small to leave a really good highlight with the marker I'm gonna add that back in um, same thing with the night because his would be very shiny I'm going to add the white in there um, and then to just the top of the horses, um, like the little reins that are on him. I originally did um, a little bit of like the bright highlight on the dragon, um, but there were some areas it was just too bright and I didn't love it, like on his nose. So in order to tone that down, I'm going to go back in with one of the mid-tone reds and just put that right over um, the highlight. So it is a little bit lighter, but not too much. Um, and then here's that technique that I was telling you about to kind of distract away from our blending. I'm just going to use my white gel pen to put in a whole bunch of stars. I'm going to put them all over the sky because I'm not worried about, um, oh, I forgot to color the moon. <laughs> um, I'm going to put them all over the sky because I'm not worried about how they're going to look because I know they won't show up as well on the lighter areas as they will on the darker areas. So I'm perfectly comfortable just putting them all over. I did re-outline everything because that's how I roll. And then I'm going to add some shimmer. These are those other cards I was talking about. If you missed that video, um, they're all one layer cards with this, the same Get Grounded set and some other really, really cute sets from the Inkblot shop. Um, and then I'm just going to do the sentiment. Um, so here I'm just going to stamp it um, kind of to top right of my little knight and it just says, hi friend. Um, I, I thought that it was just like a cute little card to send to somebody uh, and then that's it these are all these are all four of the cards because like I said I was filming them all at the same time um, and that's all I got for you so thank you guys so much for joining me if you have a minute please um, go vote today for us I would just endlessly appreciate it and I will catch you guys on the next video bye